Okay, can I just do a medium vanilla cappuccino? A medium what, sorry? Vanilla cappuccino. Vanilla cappuccino? Yep. Okay. Anything else I can get for you? No, that'll be it. Cappuccino, cappuccino. I'm from Utah, man. I don't know. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Black Rifle Coffee. Good morning. Today, I'm going to paint my wheels. Oh, my coffee's pants fell off. The more observant ones among you may notice there's only two wheels on the ground here, and most cars tend to have four. Well, you see, that would be because I've already painted the front wheels on this car, um, and then I ran out of paint, and actually the paint I chose to use apparently is really rare and hard to find. So it took me another week to actually track some cans down on Facebook Marketplace and have the kid ship them to me so that I could paint the back wheels. So today, I got the paint and we're going to make the back wheels match the front wheels. And to show you guys all this stuff, this is the paint that I will be using. I'm using all dupla color stuff because you can get it at pretty much any auto parts store and it works pretty well from my experience. So first we start with a primer. I like this filler primer because it's just a little bit thicker. Thick. It does a really good job of getting pretty good coverage within two coats. And I also really like the finish that it gives the paint when you lay the paint on top of this primer. Um, I've used some other Duplicolor primers and they work okay, but this is the best one that I've found. It's not like a wheel specific, it's not a color match specific, it's just filler primer and it works really well. Uh, the paint, this is the unobtainium. This is the really special sauce that I had to order from Florida from a random kid who didn't know what it was worth. So I found one can of this stuff at one of my local auto parts stores and that one can was enough to paint my two front wheels and then I couldn't find it anywhere else. And looking online I found that it is really freaking hard to find and it's out of stock everywhere. Um, but I absolutely love the way it makes the wheels look so I was committed to finding some so I could paint these wheels this color and uh, yeah. And then this is the clear coat that I uh, have been using and I really like how it comes out. This is the wheel specific clear coat, uh, but it is a matte finish. That's really important for me. I, I don't mind glossy wheels, but I really don't love glossy wheels. I love matte and satin finishes. So this matte clear coat kind of just adds to the already satin finish of this bronze paint and makes it look really, really good. When I'm done painting these, you guys will see the fresh finished product looks amazing with this clear coat. So basically the way this is gonna go is we are going to scuff the current wheels with some Scotch-Brite. I'm gonna scuff the face and the bronze paint around the spokes. Then we clean it really well, and then we prime, and then we paint, and then we clear coat. So now that you guys understand how I'm gonna be going about this, I am going to get my Scotch-Brite and start scuffing these wheels up.
Okay, so now I've got both wheels all scuffed up. So now we need to just clean these wheels off and I like to use this spray away glass cleaner. This stuff is ammonia free and it's water based so it just doesn't leave anything behind when you use it and it wipes up really well. Um, really you just want to clean off all the dust that you made from scuffing and sanding. So yeah, now we're just gonna squirt. Squirt. Squirt these wheels down and then wipe them off and then we can start masking. Okay, so we got everything masked up now. I know it doesn't look very good from this angle. This is just the grocery bags I used to mask the inside of the drum of the wheel. The important side is over here where we're gonna be painting the face of these two wheels. Everything is masked up and ready to go. We're ready to start spraying. Yeah, boy. Okay, so now I'm starting on color. Got the primer on, it's had its 10 minutes to dry and it looks great. Like there's just a super flat matte finish from the primer, I love that. There's no dark spots from the stock paint underneath. There's no light spots um, from too much primer where it's still wet, it looks awesome. It's exactly what I wanted, so now we're going on with the color. First color coat will be a little bit lighter. You won't see a huge change in color, but then the second one I'll lay on a little bit heavier. And then from there, we'll just do as many as it takes to get a good solid coverage of this awesome bronze color. Once I get good coverage, and we'll let it sit for probably 30 minutes, and then I'll go in and do two or three coats of clear coat, and then they'll just have to sit for a couple hours before I put them back on the car. I think we should have a little talk about safety. I should have been wearing this from the start um, or you know, even better, something that's an actual respirator and not a dust mask. Um, but obviously I haven't been wearing anything over my face since I've been painting these wheels. I do have a fan running in the background blowing everything out of the garage, um, but it is still definitely going into my nose and my mouth. I do some dumb shit sometimes. Don't do what I do. If you're gonna paint stuff like this, please wear proper protective equipment. If you have long exposure to paint fumes like this, obviously it can really mess you up. 
Um, so from here on out, I'm gonna be wearing this mask. Um, if you plan on painting a lot, please get an actual respirator with filters, not just a dust mask like this. Um, safety glasses, yeah, you could wear those. I'm not going to because none of it's going in my eyes and it's blowing out of the garage pretty quickly, but I don't wanna breathe any more of it, so I'm gonna put this mask on. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this and you wanna paint your own wheels or paint anything really, don't do what I do. do like wear, wear safety shit. Safety's cool, man. All right, so you guys can see the wheels are done. I absolutely love how they came out. I think they look amazing. They totally changed the look of the car having that awesome bronze color. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about these wheels, if you like this color or not. I also have a lot of things planned for this car in the future, so if you don't wanna miss out on any of that, make sure you're subscribed. If you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could go down and leave a like on it. I also have a big update coming on my Jeep situation. If you guys watched my video about the crash Jeep, I'll be having a video on that soon, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.